If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the basic and advanced math concepts. Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn the different parts of hyperbola uh, as we have discussed in our previous lecture that what is hyperbola. Now you must know the different parts or the elements of uh, of hyperbola in order to understand its property. So the, uh, we have already drawn the hyperbola in the coordinate axis that is x and y axis with the center at 0, 0. This hyperbola is basically a standard hyperbola. Why? Because its center is at 0, 0 where x is 0 and y is 0 and it is not necessary that the center must be 0, 0. We will also discuss later about the shifted hyperbolas where the center is not 0, 0. So currently, first of all, the first part that we have seen here is the center of the hyperbola for the standard hyperbolas that is 0, 0. So this is the center of the hyperbola where x is 0 and y is 0 of the standard hyperbola. The next part th that we are going to discuss uh, are the vertices of the hyperbola. Now let's see where are the vertices of the hyperbola. As we have two curves, so one vertex will be here and the other vertex will be here and it is at a distance of a from the center. So we have two vertices. So let's label it as, so we have two vertices. One vertex is uh, on the left side of the uh, of the center and one vertex is on the right side of the center. Vertex is basically a point of the curve where a curve makes its sharpest turn or it is also the point where the curve of hyperbola cuts the transverse axis. So what is the transverse axis? Let's see. So let's label the transverse axis as this. So this orange line indicates the transverse axis. So we can say that transverse axis basically is the axis that contains the center on its endpoints there are vertices the two vertices of the hyperbola so this orange line indicates the transverse axis that contains the center and the ends uh, and its end endpoints contain the vertices of the hyperbola this is another part of the hyperbola then we have another important part of the hyperbola that is the foci of the hyperbola so let's see where does the focus lie on the hyperbola as uh, uh, we have two vertices, similarly we have two foci of the hyperbola. So if I mark it on the diagram, one focus will be here. If I say this is F, then another focus will be here at F dash. Basically foci lies inside the curve and it actually defines the hyperbola. We will see it later that how it defines the hyperbola. And let's label its distance from the center as it will be at a distance of C from the center in both sides. So these are the two foci of the hyperbola and it actually defines the hyperbola. Then we move towards the next part of the hyperbola that is the co-vertices of the hyperbola. Just like we have the vertex or ver two vertices, similarly we have the co-vertex of the hyperbola. Let's see where it lies. It lies actually on the conjugate axis. It does not lie on the uh, transverse axis. Uh, vertices and foci will lie on transverse axis and co-vertices will lie on the conjugate axis. Let we see it later what is the conjugate axis. Currently you just know, know where is the location of the co-vertices. So its distance will be B from the center. So these are the two co-vertices of the hyperbola. Now let's see what is the conjugate axis on which the co-vertices actually lie. You can also say that uh, in, uh, in other words that it lies on the minor axis and the major axis is the transverse axis and the minor axis is the conjugate axis. So let's see what is the conjugate axis. Conjugate axis is basically this axis whose endpoints are basically the co-vertices. So the conjugate axis is uh, labeled as, so this is the conjugate axis of which endpoints are the co-vertices of the hyperbola. Or you can also say that in comparison to the previous uh, conics that it lies, uh, it is basically the minor axis as compared to the transverse axis can be referred as major axis and the conjugate axis as minor axis. The next part of hyperbola that we are going to uh, see here are the asymptotes. Let's see what are the asymptotes and where they are in this diagram. These two oblique lines, this one and this one are basically the asymptotes of the hyperbola. Now what is asymptote? Asymptote is basically a line that a curve approaches as it heads towards the infinity. So in this case we have the two asymptotes and it has an equation. So whenever you have to find the asymptotes of hyperbola you have to follow that equation. Its equation is y is equals to plus minus b over ax. This is the equation of asymptote in case you have the hyperbola in standard form and it is in this uh, and its transverse axis is the x-axis. This 
and this equation will be different for the hyperbola that has the transverse axis on the y axis so we are just currently talking about the uh, hyperbola with the transverse axis as x axis how it is derived we will discuss it in the next lecture this is an important part of the hyperbola after this we will discuss another important part of the hyperbola that is directrices of the hyperbola there there are two directrices one is called the directrix and the two are called the directrices let's see where it is one directrix is this and the other one is this so these are the two directrices of the hyperbola now these directrices have the directrices have the equations and what is basically a directrix it is used to define the hyperbola just like the focus and there are two directrices of hyperbola and it is always perpendicular to the transverse axis and its equation is x is equals to plus minus c over e square e is basically the eccentricity of the hyperbola so that the equation of directrix is this this is the equation of the directrix in the case the transverse axis is x axis keep this in mind i am talking about the transverse axis in the on the on the x axis but when the transverse axis is y axis it will be different we will discuss it later now the last part that we are going to see here is the latest rectum of the hyperbola if i draw it it will be like this so this is called the this is called the latest rectum of the hyperbola there are two latest rectum as there are two foci so there will be two latest rectum of the hyperbola now what are like latest rectum latest rectum is basically a line segment that is perpendicular to the transverse axis and it is uh, and it passes through the foci and its end points lies on the hyperbola and it is keep this in mind it should be parallel to the directrix so it is clear here that it is parallel to the directrix its end points lie on the hyperbola and it passes through the focus so latest rectum also have an equation so that you can easily find the length of the latest rectum that is equals to 2b square divided by a so by using this equation you can find the easily the length of the latest rectum So that's all from today's lecture. Hope so it will help you a lot in the next few lectures when you, we will solve the problems related to hyperbola. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.